hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to show and discuss how we get the text as well as the attribute from the wave application by using the playwright and javascript okay so let's see so first of all let's understand what is the text and what is the attribute and why we need to get these text and attribute so like suppose that we are in the page facebook.com page so sometime we need to verify that text which is visible like here we need to verify this content is coming or not okay sometime we need to verify some value like email address or phone number password you can see this as a placeholder so both we can see as a text but this is coming in a different section but this is coming in different sections. Let's see and try to understand. So you can see here, this is the S2 tag and this text is available and between the opening of S2 tag and closing tag. So if anything which is between the opening and closing tag, text, that is known as text. Okay, so if I go and look the email address, so click on pointer, go to here. Now here you can see the value email address or phone number what we are seeing there this is coming as a placeholder value. This placeholder is the attribute of the input tag. So input tag here multiple attributes right placeholder is one of the attribute. Now if we want to get any attribute so we need two different methods. If we want to get the text then we need a different method okay. So here there are similar type placeholder, there are class, name, id, data id. If we need to any uh, attribute value, then we need to use uh, a different method. So I will explain how we get the attribute and how we get the text. So let's first find out the text. So this is S2 tag. S2 tag is basically this is unique. So I am going to use this S2 tag to find the locator await is dot locator method pass here h2 okay so this give us the wave element locator so now if i want to get the text so we can call the inner text method okay so how what method we need to call inner text method this method will give us the value and we can store in a variable text so let me print this okay similar type if you want to uh, get the attribute so let's see suppose that i'm going to get the attribute of the email address or phone number this value we want to get so inspect this so it has an id so i can use the id value and create the css selector right created go to code call here page dot locator and pass here the locator okay for the attribute there is a method get attribute we need to call the get attribute method here we need to get pass the attribute name which attribute value we are going to get we need to pass that like here we are going to get the placeholder value so i will copy the placeholder go to our test pass here the attribute name okay so this method will return give us the placeholder value we can store in a variable placeholder text let me use the print statement okay now i'm going to run in debug mode so that I can show you that which gives it. Okay, now if I move the cursor here, basically here I miss the uh, await method. Here you can see this is reading the text. Facebook helps helps you connect and share with the people in your life. So here I miss the Wait, let me use the wait and then run again.
and as you can see placeholder value i can give the email address if i mouse move here email address or phone number so placeholder value we can get okay so these methods we can use to get the text as well as the get attribute value so hope this tutorial will help to get the text as well as the get attribute of the wave application by using the playwright okay if you like the tutorial click on the like button as well as subscribe the channel click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification as well as share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching the video